This is the Collectabug. Uh, we use these things for monitoring. We've been using them in the field for about five years. They work very, very well. Uh, we find roughly 70-80% of all the bugs in a small infestation will end up in these devices. Will it get all of them? No. Will it get a lot of them? Yes. Are they an effective monitor? Absolutely. Uh, if you want to make a few on your own, feel free. Uh, but if you want to make hundreds of thousands of them, you know, please talk to me. The construction technique is ordinary rotary mahogany, 1 8 inch board. It's about 11 and 7 eighths long by about, uh, well, you can do it about 5 inches uh, wide. Uh, this is important. Uh, number one, it adds some structural rigidity to this uh, monitor. Also, bed bugs love, absolutely love, raw wood. And so we're providing one of the things that they really, really like, which is raw wood. Uh, and of course, cardboard, we just buy this in the roll, in six inch rolls. And uh, it's relatively inexpensive. This is single face cardboard. You can see it's, uh, this is the face over here and this is the bumpy part. Uh, the whole point of using cardboard like this is that you can use it like a book. Uh, the bugs are going to climb into this area right here and you can inspect it simply by opening the book and looking for bugs. It works very, very well. Uh, this edge right over here on one side, you'll see is got uh, the scotch tape on it again. And that is to prevent the bugs from getting into the very end of it like this. Uh, we don't want that as a monitor. So once the bugs climb onto this device, they can't get in here and they have to go into here where they're easily inspected. Uh, sometimes when the bed is shoved against the wall, you need to make sure that these things aren't pushed in too far. Like the, this, the wall is right here. If the bed comes this way, it'll shove right under the mattress. Of course, it won't work. So what I sometimes do is I just take a, any type of hard edge and I score the cardboard. And then you can just bend it over. And now it's much less likely to be pushed uh, uh, under the mattress. This is regarding click to bug placement. Typically you want to have it at the head of the bed. You'll notice that the pillow is right over here. And the, of course the bugs want to be about a foot away from a sleeping host uh, close to the CO2 plume that's exiting your, your, uh, your face. Uh, and of course you have to give them what they want, which are these things. And you put it between the box ring and the mattress, which just so happens to be about a foot away from where you're sleeping. and the bugs will take their blood meal and come down and want to hide in this cardboard. Uh, sometimes you'll have to uh, fold these cardboard edges down a little bit like that if you're going to shove it right against the wall. It's important, it's vital important, that the bugs always have access to get into these little holes. If you shove it under the mattress like that, they won't work. You should always have a little bit of this wood showing for optimum work. When you're checking these things, what you'll do is just slightly lift the mattress and you can just pull them out quite easily. Now you've got it in your hand. Uh, the bugs aren't going to run when you open it. Uh, if you've got about 15 seconds before there's any uh, movement on this thing at all. So you'll look at it, look at it very carefully, and if you notice that there's bugs in it, quickly close it and they won't move. Uh, if you want to be extra careful, put them in a bag and put them in your freezer. Once they're in the freezer, they're not going to move. And then you can take it to your entomologist to make sure uh, you actually do have bed bugs. Okay, this is a different kind of bed. This is the IKEA slat style bed. Uh, they work a little bit differently than the box spring bed. Let's just show how this is done. You can see the nice raw wooden slats. Uh, this is bed bug heaven for bed bugs right here. They really like these slats and especially the very edges and the back corner. Right here in this corner is where you're going to get the, or the vast majority of your activity. So, where do you think you're going to put your monitor? Except right there in that corner. And of course here in this corner as well. And then you're done. And of course when you're checking later, you just pop them up and, and do a quick check. If there's nothing there, put them back. They should be good for many, many years. It looks like that one's going to 
sticking a little bit like that. You can try to get into the corner like that, and that works fine. And once again, you'll just check here, and you can find fit this right into the slot, or just tape this back. Either way is fine for me.